Hi, my name is Marin, and today FM rocks in Lambasa. Mula, my name is Mark. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks in Makassi. Hey, Bula from Rocky Rocky. I'm Mentor. I love listening to Today FM because they're playing my hits. Today FM rocks. My name is Enrico. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks in Suba. Hi, I'm Asunika and I'm from Lotoka and I love Today FM. Today FM rocks. Bula, I'm Siva. I'm from Bat. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM. In this bulletin, vaccination stock for measles not unlimited. Alleged murder trial begins today. A new A350 Airbus to benefit Fijians. From the studios of FBC Suva, Edwin Nunn. The Health Ministry has revealed the current vaccination stock for measles are not unlimited. It says the stock should be used for the most vulnerable groups who are likely to catch and spread the disease as the ministry's priority is to protect those at the highest risk first. The measles outbreak is still confined to the Serua Namosi subdivision, especially, specifically the Wailali settlement in Wainandoi. There are four confirmed cases so far. The ministry highlights the measles vaccine is currently limited to four groups. The only exceptions are to pregnant women, those with compromised immune systems and those with a known allergy to the vaccine. These people should not be vaccinated. The measles task force is constantly reviewing the situation and will make recommendations to vaccinate other groups as necessary. The trial of a military officer facing an attempted murder charge will begin today. The DPP will be calling in seven witnesses and the victim will also give evidence. 28-year-old Rajiv Padiachi allegedly attempted to murder his partner by drowning her in Doloy Suva in September last year. It's alleged that Padiachi pushed his partner into the water and tried to drown her. The trial will end this Friday. About 200 villagers from Nawai Somo in the interior of Naita Siri are living, in, living with the impact of climate change that might force them to relocate. Situated close to a large river, raging floodwaters from heavy rain causes massive destructions to riverbanks. Our reporter Ali Kimbir visited the village and files this report. These impacts of climate change has prompted the village to take action. In, in another 20 years, I can say here that our children of Nawai Somo and other close villages, it's not, um, it's not safe. According to the villagers of Nawai Somo, this is where they used to play on a normal playground. But with the continuing impact of floodwaters, riverbanks continued to be washed away. We used to play volleyball, we used to play pani, we used to play um, uh, some other games over here, which up into a, a level uh, of, uh, of land. And now it's all washed out. With some of the elders worried about their future generation, students of Nawai Somo Primary School have taken the first step to launch a climate change program. We, we believe that uh, it's important that uh, we try and inform our stakeholders about climate change and uh, implications that it may bring. Students and villagers from Nawai Somo are looking forward to engaging government institutions and relevant partners to save their village. Ali Kimbia, FBC News. Attorney General and Aviation Minister A.S. Sayed Kayum says Fiji Airways' purchase of the latest A350 Airbus is something all Fijians should be proud of. Fiji Airways has become the first operator in the South Pacific to receive a new jet powered by Derby's Rolls-Royce. The AG says the national carrier is now in the top league of aviation and the new Airbus will create more opportunities for young Fijians. Said Kayum says the government will continue to oversee the operations of Fiji Airways to ensure the standard of service is maintained. The reality of the matter is that you know we have 50% uh, of our population below the age of 27. Uh, these are the people who will be flying these planes, they'll be, uh, they'll be crewing the planes and a lot of employment opportunities. And of course it's good for our tourism sector uh, to be able to fly to newer destinations, longer destinations and indeed also to be able to improve the product quality. With the recent launch of the Cane Developing Revolving Fund loan, farmers will now be looking at planting more sugarcane once they have the cash. Chief Executive of the Sugarcane Growers Council, Raj Sharma, says farmers can lodge their application at any Sugarcane Growers Fund offices. 
Sharma says on approval the, and signing of the agreement, 50% of the money will be released and the other half will be given upon good growth of the sugarcane, which will be verified by the FSC and the Growers' Council. Again, uh, uh, this uh, revolving development fund has been there for some time since 2012 when it is started and the government injected about $6 million of its fund. And it has been going uh, on uh, during uh, uh, disaster times or during the tough times this m money has been given. So uh, once again, I think we are very appreciative to Mr. Curran and as well as to the director for the policy makers to allow us, this, we are the custodian of these funds, to allow us to use these funds to give it as a loan to the farmers. The Consumer Council of Fiji has made various supermarkets discard more than 460 kilograms of rotten potatoes. Council Chief Executive Seema Shandil says through their market surveillance last week, they found many supermarkets were selling rotten potatoes and onions. Shandil says the products were sold were not of good quality and could have affected a person's health if consumed. She says consumers need to be assertive and demand quality products. We saw maggots coming out of the potatoes. So we managed to ca condemn that and um, I would like to assure the consumers out there, our team will be out there during the weekend. We make sure that we will go around and see that the same is not repeated. The consumers are not sold off uh, the, the products of inferior quality. Drivers are still not following the clearway traffic management system introduced in Suva earlier this year. The Fiji Roads Authority Chief Executive Jonathan Moore says the system addresses traffic congestion during peak hours, but implementing it is now becoming difficult. Moore says this is one of the reasons the authority has halted the extension of clearway networks. The Land Transport Authority says traffic infringement notices are being issued to drivers who do not adhere to the new system. We recognise it's not operating as efficiently as it should be because people are still stopping. There's two parts to it. We have to get the infrastructure in place with the signs and the road markings, which are in place now. Then there's the enforcement, which is done by LTA, and they're enforcing. But there is a massive challenge on, uh, on actually enforcing this extent of clearways. Six women's groups from Tavuni and Kiowa Island recently, recently received virgin coconut oil machines from the Agriculture Ministry. This is part of a training under the Tavuni Coconut Center program. Agriculture Minister Dr. Mahendra Reddy told the recipients to take advantage of the opportunity afforded to them through the training. More than 100 farmers participated in the coconut whole nut processing training, which was held in Tavuni. Any knowledge you gain, the ultimately, if the knowledge does not contribute to your growth and development, does not contribute to uh, to, the to the society benefiting from it, then the knowledge has no value. Coming up, Fijiana 15s to bank on experience against New Zealand development today. And Samu Kerevi expresses interest in representing Fiji. Ahoy Tabua, ang gudto talitay na na barong na bula FM. Number <laughs> Welcome back. The Fijiana 15 side will bank on the experience of three former sevens players when playing New Zealand development in the Oceania Women's Rugby Championship. Coach Alivadeti Ndobi Veratha believes Priscilla Siata, Rusila Nangasau and Lavunia Tinai have the experience and talent to take, on, take the team forward. A spot in the 2021 Rugby World Cup is the reward should the team manage to win the championship. We have been playing uh, in the Fijiana teams uh, in the sevens. Uh, over the last three, four, five years. Uh, Rusila had been the captain for the side in the 15s uh, in the Oceania tournament last year, so she brings in a lot of experience uh, to the team, uh, as well as uh, Priscilla and, uh, and Lavinia. The Fijiana will take on New Zealand development at 4 p.m. at uh, Churchill Park in Lotoka today.
Meanwhile, the game between Australia A and Tonga at 1 p.m. in Suva today has been cancelled as a member of the Tongan team is suspected to have measles. The Health Ministry and Oceania Rugby have decided to cancel the match to prevent any possible risks. The game will be considered a draw with both teams awarded two competition points each. With the 2019 Chow Games done and dusted, Secretary of the Fiji Primary School Athletics Association, Patrick Bauer, says there was no use of plastic during the tournament. Bauer says they were informed by the Fiji Sports Council on the ban on uh, plastic use at the stadium premises and they abided by this rule. He says they were not allowed to use garbage bags to collect rubbish from around the stadium as well. They gave us Hessian sets and the students worked with some of the uh, Fiji Sports Council staff, um, but particularly with their staff. And the children that did that was from Trimber Primary School. And, uh, they did an excellent job. vice captain Samu Karevi has hinted at the possibility of donning the white Fiji jersey in the near future. Kerevi re revealed this during the Legend Sportswear luncheon at the Sheraton Fiji Resort over the weekend after a question was asked whether he would consider playing for Fiji. Under Australian rugby union laws, any former Wallaby player that joins a club overseas can only be eligible to play again for the Australian National Rugby Union team if they have a minimum 60 test caps or minimum seven seasons at super rugby level. Kerevi currently has 29 caps under his belt and will be eligible to represent Fiji in the next Rugby World Cup in France. I spoke to my manager about all this and the funny thing is me going off to Japan allows me to play for Fiji at the next World Cup. Um, so yes. no, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's up in the air in terms of all that but for me it's just focusing on um, heading over to Japan first and, um, and, and doing that bit. Expect a fresh new time rugby team during club, competi club competitions as the team were represented with new jerseys by sponsors Tanoa International Hotel this weekend. Big names in rugby like Jerry Tuai, former and current sevens rep Samisoni Viriviri, Terry Otamani and Meli Nerenalangi, Sevulunu Modenidangi and many others were present at the event. While speaking at the event, Tuai expressed his gratitude for the new jerseys. Tuai highlighted that the club will make very good use of the timely sponsorship. Expect cloudy conditions with afternoon showers over most places today. And that is your FPC Morning News. Remember to join us at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. For these stories and others, you can also tune in daily to our sister radio station, Gold FM. That's it from me for now. Have a good morning. My name is Neha and I'm from Karavi. And Mirchi FM, it's hot. Hama chale na sorry se, Mirchi FM bout julum. Hi, hum Shara Pukash baat karta hai. Tava me Mirchi FM sab kinsen and Mirchi FM it's hot. Hi, my name is Prashant. I live in Suva. I love Mirchi FM because Mirchi FM it's hot. Hi, I'm Shane. I love uh, listening Mirchi FM because it's awesome and it's hot. Hi, I'm Rachel. And I'm Shavi. We, we love, love listening to Mirchi FM in Lambasa. Mirchi FM, it's hot.